Hey everyone, and welcome to question one associated with the confounding versus effect modification lecture. As usual, I recommend you pause the video, attempt the question on your own, and then watch the remainder of the video to see whether you did it correctly. So in this case, a study is performed to investigate the possible association between asbestos exposure and lung cancer, and finds that individuals with a confirmed exposure to asbestos have three times the odds of lung cancer, which is a statistically significant finding. You then decide to perform a secondary analysis by stratifying on tobacco use and find that after stratification, exposure to asbestos is associated with 50 times the odds of lung cancer among individuals who use tobacco and associated with 1.5 times the odds of lung cancer among individuals who do not use tobacco, with those findings being statistically significant and not statistically significant, respectively. And we're asked, do you think that tobacco is a confounder or an effect modifier? So we learned in the lecture that stratification can often let us know whether something is a confounder versus an effect modifier. So in this case, the unadjusted analysis was statistically significant with an odds ratio of 3.0. And we found that after we stratified to patients who use tobacco and patients who do not use tobacco, that the odds ratio was strengthened among those who use tobacco to 50, and still statistically significant, and was weakened among those who do not use tobacco with an odds ratio of 1.5 that was no longer statistically significant. And as we learned, if something is a confounder, then stratifying on, a conf on that confounder will eliminate the association in both of the stratified groups. Whereas in this case, we feel this fits best as an effect modifier because after stratification, we find that the association between asbestos exposure and lung cancer, our primary exposure and outcome, varies significantly between these two stratified groups with it being significantly strengthened among individuals who use tobacco and weakened among individuals who do not use tobacco. If you had trouble with this, like, with this question, I recommend going back and watching the associated lecture. As usual, please like, comment, subscribe, and good luck.